Uh, we've got a grant from the Department of Justice for testing DNA um, in cases where um, there has been DNA evidence in the past, but there may have been mistakes. So this is really exciting because traditionally innocence organizations will test items that haven't been tested before. We found that there are problems um, and there are opportunities where items have been tested and either found inconclusive um, or where we think there's been a, a misapplication of statistics and interpretation. And that happens more frequently than you would think. Um, and we know that because we make the mixtures and we give them to analysts and um, uh, we see that they make mistakes and we make the mixtures and we give them to the machine, in this case a computer program called probabilistic genotyping, and the machine gets it right. And of course the machine has limits and the machine will, I'm sure, get some things wrong, uh, but um, this is really exciting that we have a way to get away from some of the human error and that's what my grant is for, to use probabilistic genotyping a kind of new method for analysis of data we get off of our machines doing DNA fingerprints to read them more clearly, especially in cases where there's more than one contributor, it's complex mixtures.